Hi you guys and welcome back to another Nest With Me video. I am extremely excited about this video today. Um, I am going to put together the diaper caddy, my postpartum basket, and then my breastfeeding basket together. Um, I've never done one of these before but I kind of want to make it a lot easier for me this time around. It is my fourth baby so you think I would have it together by now. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, do a um, show you guys everything that I got. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I feel like this video is gonna be kind of long, so I just wanna get straight into this video and show you guys some of the things that I've gotten. I've also have, um, if you saw my pack with me um, from the hospital, I have. Um, Actually, I'll show you guys when I get to that part. But let me show you guys what I have in the, um, or what I have for the diaper caddy, my postpartum basket, and my breastfeeding essential basket. Okay, so right here is the um, diaper caddy basket. I got this as a gift, so I'm going to go ahead and definitely use this. I have some Young Living Seedling Baby Wipes. I've actually, it came in a pack of three and I've already used one pack on Grayson. And I don't have enough words to say about these kind of wipes. I absolutely love them. They are so good on his skin, especially because Grayson um, is very sensitive. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these for the baby. And then I have a Burp cloth just in case I need it actually I think I probably should have this in my breastfeeding basket because it just goes hand in hand with feeding um, so I think I'm gonna move that over there I have a baby bum brush just in case he has a little um, diaper rash hopefully he doesn't but I, I already know I mean I've been through this three different times I have never used this but I've heard so many great things about this so I am actually really happy that I got this as a gift at my baby shower so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out when that time comes so I'm gonna go ahead and keep or put it in the basket and then I actually have a um, little diaper mat so when I change him I can just it's a wipeable one I can just lay him on it and wipe him and then uh, I've never tried to spray before the seedlings linen spray so I'm gonna go ahead and use that also and then the seedlings calm oil I've heard amazing things about this I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try as well and then both of our boys and then this baby included is also um, and don't come at me for those of you that are against it everyone has their own opinions and they do what they want on their baby but we get our boys circumcised so this is definitely going to come in handy for the first couple of diaper changes that we are going to be doing for the baby i have an extra outfit for him just in case he does have a blowout that is to be expected <laughs> um I have this Abby and Finn soothing diaper balm. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and get the Young Living one as well. But I don't have that just yet. And then I have some little um, bandana. Um, oh my god, my mind is like not there right now. The bandana bibs. I'm probably just going to use it just to wipe him down. Um when he is eating but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in the diaper caddy not the um, breastfeeding essential basket and then I also got this as a gift as well I've never used it but I like the thought of it it's basically um, a dispenser bag so you just throw like the dirty diapers in there and then throw it out kind of like that and it is lavender scent so I think that's pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try also but that is basically everything that is going into the diaper caddy and then moving on to the postpartum basket I've always always used these ones after I um, get birth but I've heard great things about this and I've also heard great things about this so I'm gonna go ahead and give these two a try 
Um, I actually have the Perry bottle also. I know the hospital does give you one, but I actually bought the Freedom Mom one because I've heard so many good reviews on it, but I do have that in my hospital bag upstairs. So it's not going to go in here just yet. I do have a few things that I need to order, and I'll go ahead and show you guys the list of stuff that I need to order still. Um, but that's going to go ahead and go everywhere that I go. And then moving on to the breastfeeding basket, I have this Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter that I'm going to go ahead and use. I have my Hakka. I actually have um, been told by quite a few people to get the LV, um, I guess it's like an LV Hakka in a way, um, or an LV Collector. So I have an order for that placed on Amazon, just waiting for it to get here. But I also have a Hakka as well. I've used this with Grayson and I absolutely loved it. The only difference between this one and the one that I had with Grayson was this one actually has like a suction on the bottom. Whereas the one that I had with Grayson didn't. So I did spill it quite a couple times and you guys all know spilt milk. It's just, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> so I have that. And then I have a little hair tie in case I am breastfeeding and my hair is down and I just want to throw it up. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my basket. And then here is my breastfeeding pump. I have never used this yet, um, but I'm so, so excited. I feel like it's going to definitely be more, coming more in handy for me just because I'm going to be home with a toddler and a newborn and Grayson is extremely attached to me so I don't want any cords so this is definitely going to come in handy um and then I have some Briggs little binkies here for the baby um have never used this brand but I've heard great things about Briggs and bibs I'm not sure if I'm going to introduce the pacifier right away just because I don't want to I want to exclusively breastfeed this baby for longer than 13 months like I did with Grayson, but I'm going to go into it. I know every baby is different. We may come across some problems. I'm hoping we don't, um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to breastfeed for longer than 13 months. <laughs> and then I have some um, nursing pads and then some breast milk storage pouches but I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the diaper caddy and then we'll just move along diaper caddy that I have put together hanging on the strap I have the um, bag dispenser and then once I run out of the bags that are in here I have the extras I have the diapers sitting in here 
the diaper changer and then like i said when the time comes when he gets a rash that's when i'll go ahead and open this but for now i'm just gonna keep it in there so i have that in there and then i have the vaseline it's only going to be sitting in this caddy for just a couple weeks probably um it's not like i need to apply that forever <laughs> and then i have the wipes and then on this side i have the extra pair of clothes in case he does have um, an explosion we all know that every baby has one and then here are the bandana bibs and then i have the diaper cream the linen spray and then it moved and then i have the seedlings calm essential oil in there um but i am loving the way it turned out this basket definitely came in handy i'm so glad i put it on my registry um if i am missing anything definitely let me know um like i said this is my fourth baby so i don't really want to go all extremely crazy just because i kind of already know what to expect but then again every baby is completely different so there's the diaper caddy that is all done all ready to go now i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the postpartum basket Okay, and here is my postpartum basket. I have the Freedom Mom diapers, but I've never used these. But I, like I said, I've heard amazing things about this. And I also decided to just bring down my Perry bottle just because I know they do give you one in the hospital. And I don't want to leave this in the hospital. So I decided I'm just going to use the one in the hospital that they provide while I am there. And then I'll go ahead and have this for home but I heard amazing things just because of the one at the hospital basically it doesn't have like that um if you guys can see it doesn't have like that that right there it's just a straight shot where this is kind of I guess just easier just to squirt so I'm super excited to use that and then I like I said earlier I've used these before I have not used these but one of my good friends out here, she said she's used these and she absolutely loved them. So I went ahead and bought a little pack. Um, they don't feel or look like they're too thick, so I feel like I'm going to like them as well. And then the Dermoplast, I don't really use it, but I know the hospital provides the Dermoplast and the Tux, which is why it's not in there and I didn't buy it because my hospital does provide that. So... When we come home, I'm going to go ahead and just insert that in here. But I love the way that my little postpartum basket came out. I actually got these from Marshalls. And I think I paid $8 for this whole container. Which is actually a lot cheaper than if you find them on Amazon. But I will go ahead and link some similar ones from Amazon. Definitely check out your local Marshalls first. And then if you cannot find this, um, 
I will link similar ones down below. But now I'm going to get started on my breastfeeding basket. I told you every single time, don't you worry. You would always call me at the wrong time. So you can know what I was up to. Oh, don't you get that? It's just stupid. So I have the little breastfeeding um, basket ready, but I kind of feel like the basket is a little too small. So I think I may end up taking it back to Marshall's or actually I think I got it off of Amazon. Yeah, so I think I'm actually going to take or return it to Kohl's because Kohl's does do Amazon um, returns and just try my Marshall's one more time to see if I can find a bigger basket that's like similar to the one that I've used for my postpartum one. Um, but let me go ahead and show you what I have in my breastfeeding basket so far. Okay, so here is my Hakka. I love, love that um, it's suction proof on the bottom. It actually, and it actually has a cap as well. I have some breastfeeding pads. I also put in a couple of breastfeeding bags. I've used these bags with Grayson and I love them. And then I have on the other side my rubber band just in case I need to, or just in, yeah, just in case. Um, and then I also have the nipple butter. The binkies, I've never used, like I said, I've never used these, but I'm extremely excited. They're so cute, and I've heard amazing things about the frigs and the bibs, and these are frigs, and I mean, the color, like, you guys all know I'm obsessed with this color, and then here is a burping cloth, um, just in case I need it, but that is everything that is in my breastfeeding basket um like i said i may return this to amazon and then just try marshall's one more time and see if they have a bigger basket so that i can have more room um but i'm also going to add my after east and then i actually and i have an order for my after blues the postpartum blues so that way i can go ahead and just put a little bit of drops of the blues so that way i don't have any try um postpartum depression but um yeah I kind of like how it looks but I just wish the basket was bigger so I'm probably gonna and I said that three times this is like my third or fourth time but I'm probably gonna return this and get a bigger basket okay and then I actually made a list of things that I am needing for the diaper caddy and then the postpartum and breastfeeding essentials caddies as well um I do have everything checked off for his caddy I did forget to put the sanitizer in there, but I do have that. I actually did put that in there right now. So I checked that off. If you guys want to screenshot that for yourself. And then the postpartum 
basket and the breastfeeding essentials. I don't have the breast therapy cooling pads just yet. I need to order those still. And then like I said, the tux in the thermoplast, my hospital actually provides that. So I'm going to go ahead and check that off. Um, but I do need to buy that still. And then here is everything for my hospital bag. Uh, I need to put a towel, a washcloth, my robe, a little blanket for me, some snacks, and then the air earplugs. But everything else is actually all checked off and I did show you guys everything um, for my what I packed in my hospital bag. But that is definitely everything that I used with both my boys, Scarlett, I went into unexpected labor, so I didn't have anything. But I've used everything for the hospital bag. Um, this is definitely something that comes in handy for me. And then here is this, if you guys want to screenshot that also. And then the diaper caddy. Okay, and then I actually had an extra basket um, that was, there was completely nothing in it. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and put my breast pump parts in it. I am not going to sanitize these just yet. But you guys, if you guys use this pump, let me know what you think because it looks kind of intimidating. <laughs> um, I've heard great things about it, but it looks really intimidating. Um, but yeah. I am so excited. So excited. We are officially almost 34 weeks pregnant. This is baby boy. I feel like he is completely dropped. Um, my shirts no longer fit me. But I'm not going to buy large shirts because I have... If, if I make it to 40 weeks, we, which we all know with my history that I'm not going to make it to 40 weeks. But if I do, I have less than six weeks left until baby is here. It is so exciting. It's a bittersweet feeling because this is the last time. I complain so much on Instagram, but this is the last time that I will ever carry a baby. I will ever be pregnant. Um, it feels great to close that chapter, but I know I'm going to miss it, um, even though I complain. <laughs> and I think it's more of the fact that, like, the whole like i don't know just like the whole labor thing like i love giving birth i'm one of those weird people like i just love it from the moment you walk into the hospital you get hooked up pushing everything i don't know i just love it it's like nothing compares to the feeling of when you just hear that first cry and they put that baby on your chest and it's like oh my god this this is everything um, nothing compares to that feeling, so I'm super excited to experience that one more time. I'm so excited. We are so excited to have him be a part of our family. We know he's going to make the perfect, you know, last addition to our family. So we are super excited to meet him, see him grow. I, I cannot wait. <laughs> but I think I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I have so many content coming up, so many exciting videos. Definitely going to be filming my labor and delivery vlog. It's going to be the first time I ever film one. I wish I had videos from my other three. Um, but yeah, definitely don't forget to press that subscribe button if you are new. I would love to have you here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.